Hello, and today I'm going to be showing an RGBW strip that uh, I bought from Adafruit. Over here you can see we have the strip. It is a 30 LED meter strip. That means that there's 30 individual addressable LEDs per meter. I just have one meter here, and I can almost fit the entire meter in my camera, but not quite, so you really only see 28 of the 30 count. But uh, I'm programming this with an Arduino microcontroller. This is all done in C. And as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and turn on some of these lights and uh, show you some of the animations that I've built with it. You can do different kinds of color swipes. So here we'll do some pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. You see how each one is addressable, they'll be different. Here's some theater chases in different colors. And since it's in a, a loop, the main function is just going to continue to uh, do the same thing. So we'll go ahead and show some different effects. Some of the coolest ones to do are the rainbow ones. This first one takes each individual LED and pulses them within the entire range of colors. This next one will do the entire strip kind of uh, horizontally through the rainbow, which is pretty neat. So you can see the, the red kind of move up the strip with the rest of the colors following it. The third one is going to be a theater chase in Rainbow. This one actually takes a long time because once again it's doing each individual, t every 255 values, it's doing a theater chase with each of those. So right now it's green and it's going to eventually going to be turning teal and then blue and then purple and then red again. We'll go ahead and get the next one set up. This fourth one is going to be just an alternating between the first couple colors that I showed before, the pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and white in a series. That one's pretty cool to see too, so I'll let that run for a second. And that's that one. And these look much better to the eye than they do in the camera. You can't really see as much because the LEDs have a glare. So I'll go ahead and show you alternating colors. This is something you can do for, you know, if you have a certain event or like a holiday. These are red and green for Christmas. You can do different colors like Halloween. So that's pretty cool. Now I'll show you random color fill. <clears throat> this is where we're gonna be taking a random color every single time the end LED is filled up and go the entire length of the strip. This one is one of my favorites. It's pretty cool. This one is just going to fill the LED strip randomly until it's completely filled. We're just going to alternate between those two. You can see this one one more time. So there's Within these scripts, there's a lot of randomly uh, picking colors between 0 to 255 for both the RG and B. And then randomly filling it throughout the entire strip. Here's if we want to fill it through the middle. And I chose this to be green. So we start in the middle, go out, kind of pulse, and it's a real nice effect. Um, we have a similar one going from the sides instead. Not much of a difference because when you have a lot of these strips connected together, um, the middle or the sides don't really matter. It's all about where your end point is, where it's connected to, to the controller. So now I can show this RGB loop. This is kind of like a color fade in between both red, green, and blue. Like we said before, that we had the alternating colors for like Christmas. Yeah, here's an example of Fourth of July. We've got red, white, and blue fading in and out. 
little patriotic display. This one is a strobe effect. Um, I'm not going to show this one for long, but uh, it's an example of, yes, you can do this kind of effect. Obviously, I didn't turn it on too, too, uh, too high, but you can, you can do the timing pretty quickly. Here's a Cylon bounce, kind of like their little red visor, their eye that they do. And here's a different version of it. So it's got a little bit added effects where we go from one side to the other and then have two meet in the middle and then it reverses. That's basically it for that. Here's some cool ones that are going to be like stars or twinkle effects. This first one is just going to twinkle. And the second one is going to do the same, but it's going to be doing random colors instead of just white. So it picks a random color and then picks a random spot within the addressable LEDs to fill up. Next one I call sparkle. And same thing. The first one is its normal effect. And the uh, second one is going to be the same thing but with randomly generated colors. So let me see. This is the white one where we're just choosing throughout the strip random spot to uh, flicker on the light and this is the same thing with color so obviously these are a little bit cooler when you've got a larger installation and a diffuser in front of it so more than just a, a meter so this one's a snow sparkle where the entire strip is white but it's dimmed and then it flickers a little bit throughout So that's pretty cool. It's kind of like a snow, snow effect. This next one is similar, but um, you can see that these flickers are kind of constant and uniform. This one uses a random generator to determine when it should flicker, so they're not as predictable. Here's a different kind of the, uh, the patriotic running lights. It just has a different effect. It's kind of a mix between the color color wipe and the theater chase. So it's just got longer strips of the color alternating on and off. Here's one that I find that's really cool. It's called Fire. This is not one that I made personally, but one that I found. Uh, it's just a really cool effect. It kind of shows that uh, it looks like a fire. Unfortunately, the way that I have the circuit set up, the uh, the bottom is at the top of the camera. So this is going to be the top of the flame, and over there is going to be the base. And it has a random generator where um, it'll ignite. There'll be sparks. And those are the white LEDs that you see. And then the yellow and orange are near the base of the fire, and the red is kind of flickering out here. This looks really good when you put a diffuser in front of it. Actually, it looks like a flickering flame. Here's one that uses uh, velocity. And we have three bouncing balls. It'll drop from the top, hit the bottom, and then kind of bounce up and down like super bouncy balls. Once again, I apologize. The top of the camera is where you're going to be seeing the bottom. So think of this as the ceiling, and the balls are thrown up this way. And then when they come back down, the ground is over there, and they hit the ground, and they kind of bounce up. Looks a little backwards. And then here's the same thing, but instead of three red balls, we're going to have five different balls. We can predefine the colors, so we can have a red, yellow, green, blue, and white ball. And they're all going to bounce at different heights and stuff, and bounce back up and bounce back down. But it's pretty cool to show the different kinds of lighting animations and effects that you can do with these LED strips, just because they're individually addressable. Now this is just written in pure C, which is hard-coded through an Arduino microcontroller. You can definitely get other microcontrollers that are more for lighting effects and program those with either DMX um, or over Ethernet protocols in which you can do a combined effects. So you can get matrix lights or Christmas tree lights that are of different shapes and once again those are all going to be individually addressable LEDs whether they're RGB, 
or RGBW, and they have different counts. So there's a lot more things you can do with lighting overall, but these strips are really cool because they give an intro of how you can program different lighting sequences. They're very good for hobbyists and makers if they just want to add individual LEDs. These come in a variety of different kinds of form factors, whether they're matrices, strips, they come in the 30 count, the 60 count, um, and I believe the 144 count per meter. And they are on flexible PCBs that are either white or black. So right now I have the white ones so you can kind of see in between the LEDs. If I got the black then they wouldn't show up as well on the camera. But it's just really interesting. Uh, Lighting is a personal favorite of mine just to see the different things you can do. And yeah. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more lighting sequences in the future. Thank you.